Hey guys, welcome to LGH Project. My name is Salman Francis and this is part two of our CCIE learning track videos. So if you remember in our last video, we completed our installation of EVENG and I just forgot to mention one thing that that EVENG was the pro edition and that is not free. You have to purchase license for that. But uh, EVE Community Edition is a free version and you can download it from same website like uh, let me show you that over here you can go to uh, eve-ng.net and over here uh, from the download sections you can just go to eveng and then look for not for the pro version you have to go here to the community ed edition like the community tab and over here you can see that you can download this community edition okay so just to be uh, clear, okay, now back to our uh, Eve uh, uh, workstation, which we already installed. So from here, you can see that I can uh, go to my uh, same IP address, uh, which I gave while installing uh, Eve NG and the password uh, username was admin and the password was Eve. Okay, once I logged into this machine, I can go to uh, like lab details, uh, which we uh, created, or you can uh, create, uh, like you can add the objects here, you will be presented with this uh, space, or you can uh, close the lab and then create a new lab. For example, from here, you can add a new lab we can call it uh, test2 and here we are going to add Cisco image let's say in this lab and the version is one author if you want to add and then click on save okay once you save it you can right click uh, here click on nodes and then you can add nodes from here but at the moment we don't have any node so let's add one node here okay I will just go to okay first thing what I'm going to do I'm just going to clear the screen and I'm going to SSH with root into 192.168.1.120 it's going to be easier for me okay here you can see we are in uh, EVENG okay now second thing is I have already created slides for you guys so first thing is uh, that we need to download Cisco router or switch image to the machine uh, the machine where we are going to install the image of course it's going to be EVNG machine and for that purpose please don't uh, forget that you can always visit this website uh, evng.net and over here you can see the supported images let me take you to that uh, page uh, real quick <clears throat> okay it's eve-ng.net uh, I misspelled it over here it's eve here eve-ng.net okay I will just save it okay so let's go back so over here you can see uh, documentation or the supported images uh, like IOL it's iOS on Linux and dynamic uh, dynamics uh, like the Cisco iOS emulation and chemo images so from this page you can get all the supported images okay now let's go back to our slide okay so First thing is you are going to download or we are going to download the Cisco image. Second is for IOL we will go to this directory in our machine and copy the download image to the bin directory. So let's do it step by step. First we are going to download the Cisco image. I have already downloaded one image so let's go to our directory. okay for this purpose I have already uh, downloaded the image 
So over here you can see I have this uh, i86bi. It's an IOL image actually. Okay, so I have already downloaded the image and then for step two for IOL images uh, we need to go to this slash opt unit lab adds on IOL directory. Okay, opt unit lab add ons IOL. And over here you can see we have the bin directory. So for IOL images you need to go to the bin directories. Okay. At the moment, you can see we don't have uh, anything. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to copy this uh, image to our bin directory. So let's go back. Okay. To our home directory. And from here, I'm going to copy IE86 to our OPT unit lab add-ons IOL bin. Also I'm going to copy this keygen to slash opt unit lab add-ons bin directory. Okay let's go to our bin directory and over here we can see we have both the image and the keygen. Okay, now fourth step is create the license or run the fix. Let's check to unit lab wrappers UNL dash a fix permissions to check that everything is fine. Okay, permissions, not yeah, fix. Permissions M I okay perfect. Now third thing is we need to create the license. You need to check Google how to create the license, or I can show you here how to add iOS image. So So it's going to look like this, this uh, license, and let me show you how to generate it. It's, you need to download uh, this file. It's called the keygen file. Okay. And what you need to do is you need to first okay first let me show you why the license is required so we have already added this image over here okay now if I go to my page over here refresh the topology click on node and over here you can see now I have Cisco IAL okay and if I select it you can see that the image is here but let's say if I want to add it, it's a layer 2 switch. So let's say it's a switch. Prefix is SW, save. Now if I want to start it, it's telling fail to start node 12. So because the reason is there is no license. Okay, so let's go back and check how we can uh, add the license okay so first of all what we need to do is we need to create this IOURC file okay so Create a file name in the same directory, IOURC. IOURC. Okay, now we have this IOURC file. Then we are going to K 
keygen python keygen you can see that it has generated a license just copy this license and over here paste it save and exit okay now we need to create a file called netmap okay this is done clear the screen okay now you need to issue this command while remaining in the same directory it's ld okay let me write it ld underscore lib Rary underscore path equals to opt unit lab add ons IOL lib okay space slash opt unit lab add ons IOL bin i86 bin one okay this one is basically the sequence number so when you are going to add second image you will give it number two okay now we press enter and if everything goes well we will have ourselves a licensed iol let's wait <clears throat> excuse me Uh, would you like to enter the niche? No, I don't want. Uh, would you like to terminate? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Our switch is working. Show IP interface brief. But now, let me control C and I'm out of the switch. And let's go back to our uh, web portal. Okay, over here I'm going to refresh the topology. And let's try to start this switch this time. And if all goes well, the switch will start. You can see the switch is, has started. But it's still not showing me the plus sign. So let's refresh it. And at the bottom, you can see over here at the bottom, you can see it's showing the telnet to 32769. Okay. I just need to, uh, let me add the switch again. That's maybe that's why it's not showing. Okay, so from here I've selected IOL, let's switch, RAM is fine, I don't need this big RAM, I'll, I'm happy with 512, save. Okay, the switch has started. And now you can see here it's the play button. Perfect. And at the bottom you can see that uh, we can go to 32769. Okay, let's telnet uh, from our terminal. Another terminal. Uh, telnet 192.168.1.120. And what was that? 32769. Three two seven six nine. Perfect. We are in switch. Show IP interface brief. Okay, perfect. Now we have successfully uh, added this switch, and now 
the good thing is right click here or if it's not working you can always use this uh, nodes you can see from here you can add object nodes and now what I'm going to do is I am going to add another switch with same set of RAM um, let's call it switch 2 and it's a switch save it select it like this right click start and you can see the switch has been started now this switch is if you look at the left corner you can see that you can tell it to the same IP address with 32770 so let me open another terminal in 192.168.1.120.32770 perfect and here you can see uh, conflict t host name is sw2 or do min okay and on our second switch we can go and Conf T host name is SW whatever and so here we have it working two switches okay so in this video we have seen we have downloaded the Cisco router and uh, Cisco switch image sorry uh, you can visit here uh, this uh, page again to check the supported images uh, IOL stands for iOS and Linux. You have to uh, copy the downloaded image into bin directory inside this opt unit lab adds on slash IOL. Run the fix permissions command. Uh, then you need to go to create the license file we have already seen. And for the license or keygen, you can always Google and you will find how to download that file. Uh, as you can see that without that license file it, the router will or switch will not start then create the IORC file in the same directory create a netmap file a netmap file in that IOURC you have to copy the license then in step number six you have to run this command of LD library the sequence number don't forget for all the image you have to change the sequence number in our first image we mentioned number one for second image you have like if, if it's a different image for the clone image you don't even need to run the same command so you you have already seen that I have added an additional or cloned the switch uh, without any problem okay now then you visit the web, web portal not port it's a portal of your EVNG and create the test lab. Right click and add node, select the image from your list just created, click start and start your training. So I hope you have enjoyed. I know it's a lengthy video, but I hope this is this detailed video will help you guys in installing and uh, configuring the, not configuring, like installing the images properly in your EVNG community edition. So thank you very much for watching. And hope to see you in our next video. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.